And welcome back. We're standing here now with Mike from the Grumpy Old Man Cave, and we're here to talk about smoking meats. That is, um, and uh, what are some of the? Uh, I guess this is um, um, all of the stuff that you made. Yeah, these are some right? of our seasonings and rubs that we have. We mm. have about twelve of our own. We've got uh, upwards of about forty-five different seasonings and rubs now. So there's a little something for everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We like to know if you notice some of the fun names on these. Uh, oh yeah, what was uh, the best one here? Special O'Cajun. Yeah, so people have been asking me for a new uh, Cajun recipe. And special so we, Cajun. Oh, I get special, it. Ah. I get it. It's fun oh. to say, isn't it? Special oh, Cajun. Special so if you don't Cajun. like Cajun, you still buy the bottle for something. You know? I I'm see. sure a lot of experimentation though that goes into it creating something of, like that. It is a lot of. It's nice because we make them local, so we know what's in them and mm -hmm. really good. All good seasonings and rubs in them. Oh. Yeah. And, and I guess that's a really good excuse to like smoke a lot of meats. And it then, is. And, and then veggies yeah. and soups and salads. You, can, you know, I don't like to use rubs anymore because people mm -hmm. think this meat is for rubs, but you can put them in anything. I, oh. I, do, I do a lot of cooking bread, soups. We have a, a wonderful like a butter garlic that I use in my garlic breads. And yeah. Some, that sounds So yeah, great. there's a lot of different ones. Something for everybody, we think. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you have some more gift ideas as well. We do. we got some stocking stuffer ideas. These smoke tubes are good. You just fill them with pellets mm. huh. and it'll work in any grill and not just a pellet grill. Okay. But you put the pellets and then you light it on fire. It kind of works like an incense. It burns itself down, but it gives you a little extra smoke on your meat or if you're cooking at higher temps you know and some of the smokers don't have a lot of smoke at high temps but mm -hmm. this takes care of that then we got this fun one for you these are fun stocking stuffers. this is the infrared so you can point point at anything anything and it's like a temp all right oh it's, it's just fun to do that all right one point at one of the cat and the <laughs> yeah. dog and i can tell Here. my wife's upset with me i point out a little yeah. bit <laughs> So the great stuff is so cool. it, it's kind of fun. Yeah. I just washed my hands, so let's see if I'm uh, 80, yeah, 82 degrees. I just washed okay. my hands in plus, very cold water. So Plus during COVID, you could shoot someone on the forehead before they walk in your oh, store. Oh, that's you see their temp, but we don't, we don't do that anymore. No, no, no. But what, are, what, what is this here? These made me actually like chicken legs again. Mm. Uh, huh. You wouldn't think just hanging them on here would make a difference, but it's a way that they cook slow. The juice. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah. So it's a fun little, just a fun, quick little gift for most guys are doing it. And then I have these, mm -hmm. these cooked grill trays. So instead of putting the meat on, you know, one piece at a time on your grill, mm -hmm. I put them on here and then you can put them right in your grill and yeah. take them right out. You can put the tray just right on there and then instead of having to go individually, like... Yeah, we have fantastic. a few different sizes available at, at the store. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. talk about your store a little bit. So you're located in Waterville, uh, right in downtown area. Yeah, 114 3rd South, South Street. Okay, That's right off Main Street. You look right yeah. where uh, behind Bullheads used to be. So. Yeah, the downtown is really growing it in is, Waterville. It is. Um, and what kind of um, other things do you have at the store? Well, uh, I've got everything from the beginning of your barbecue mm -hmm. to the middle of it to the end of it. I, and we're always getting new seasonings. We got about five this last week. So oh, wow. People really come okay. in. These are great stocking stuffers. Yeah. Everyone seems to know someone that cooks or grills in their oh, family yeah. or friends. So mm -hmm. it's a perfect way to season up the, their, their life a little. So. Awesome. Um, and we say the address again one more 114, time. 114 uh, South 3rd Street, sorry. Oh, that's all right. twister there. <laughs> I should know that, right? No. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I guess, um, y I think that this is, I, I know I've never done this before, but I do know that eventually I will get into it. You know, you know if you ever want to do a little segment, I will show you, just like you did the pottery, I will show you how simple it is. Oh, to yeah. And that we great. can even eat it, uh, you know, hours later. I mean, it could work, it could work out. I bet you'd be a natural at it. Oh, so. well, let's see. <laughs> well, thank you so much, thank Mike. You. And uh, we'll, we will wrap things up when we come back from Kaolun.